Yesterday, we looked at the flood from 30,000 feet, um, and we see how all this is unfolding over these four chapters in Genesis. Today, we're going to the end of this account, uh, the end of Genesis um, 9, 8 through 17. This is right as uh, Noah is leaving the boat. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock, and all the wild animals, all those that came out of the ark with you, every living creature on earth. I establish my covenant with you. Never again will all life be cut off by the waters of a flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant uh, I am making between me and you and every living creature with you a covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy all life. Whenever the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and all living creatures of every kind on the earth. So God said to Noah, this is the sign of the covenant I have established between me and all life on earth. So, as we have noted in other settings, the Bible unfolds through a series of covenants, agreements, or promises. Um, contracts that define the relationship between God and mankind. God establishes these with people that he chooses to represent everyone who follows. There are six main covenants in the Bible. The first was with Adam, basically obey uh, and you will be blessed, disobey and you'll die, he disobeys, uh, and spiritual death is immediately there with, with physical death ultimately to follow. And then we know we inherit this broken nature through Adam, uh, the first Adam. The second Adam is Christ, and we're going to inherit things through Christ if we become part of his family as well. Um, but the first covenant is with Adam. The second covenant is with Noah. And we see that here. Noah is acting as a representative of all the people. And uh, covenants with Abraham and with Moses and with David are going to follow all these additional layers, aspects of the agreement of how the relationship between God and humanity is going to unfold. Uh, ultimately, the final covenant, the new covenant, talked about in the book of Jeremiah, is the one that is made in Christ. So, hundreds of thousands of pages millions of pages, perhaps, have been written about covenants um, in these agreements, dissecting them in every conceivable way. For instance, some covenants are unilateral. Uh, they're made by one party with the other. <clears throat> other covenants are bilateral. All the covenants I'm talking about here have been unilateral. They've been initiated by God. Uh, it's between God and, and people. They're, it's not between equals, so the one is saying to the other what it's going to be you have bilateral covenants that get entered into um, all time, uh, all the time, uh, and between equals. So I, I, will, I will buy your house for $100,000 and we'll close on November 1st. And you say, make it 115 and we close on October 15th, right? And so you enter into a negotiation between two equal parties to agree on something. The covenants that we make with God are not bilateral, they're unilateral. There's also another aspect of covenants, whether they're conditional or unconditional. So they're conditional, as soon as you violate the principles, the, the aspects of the covenant, then I am released from my obligation. Um, so God will make both conditional and unconditional covenants with us. So the big issue here uh, in the covenants is, is how does this end? Do we earn our salvation or is it a gift that's given to us? Of course, Christianity is not this I do, it's this he did. It is a gift. Salvation is a, is, is a gift that is given to us by God through Christ. We'll talk more about this tomorrow. Have a good day.